Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm standing by the lake at Vanstone Park in Hertfordshire. This is a former country estate. It's now a garden centre, but it also has a miniature railway. Now, it's been quite a while since we last went to a miniature railway. Um, with all the lockdown and everything, the last miniature railway I went to was Manor Park in Glossop up in Derbyshire. Um, so it's been yeah, a few months since we've done a miniature railway Britain episode, but as the country gets back to normal, I'm really excited to um, be going to Miniature Railway again. Look at that, that's the sign I've waited three months to see. Railway open today. So we're going to leave the lake behind us. And we're going to walk up to the railway station and we're going to go for a ride on the Vanstone Woodland Railway. It's a ten and a quarter inch gauge railway. It runs um, through the woods over this other side of the estate. It's quite well known for having these locos called meteors. There was 10 of them built by um, Shepparton Metal Engineering, I think they're called. Um, they built 10 of them. I believe two have been scrapped, but most of them have worked at various seaside railways around the country. Quite a lot of them have ended up here. So uh, let's go and see what we can see. And they have also got a few other locos. So I'm just coming through that quite pleasant parkland. The actual house, that, um, you know, this estate belonged to, the Vanstone estate belonged to, is just over there. It's private now, so I won't be able to go, it, go into it, but I can show it to you over there. It is over the hedge. Um, it's uh, maybe, there you go. You can just see it, that's the house. That's the estate. Here's our first loco. This loco here, now Plinth. It's called Vanstone, but it once ran at the Miniature Railway in Buxton. We have already been to the Miniature Railway at Buxton Park. Um, the Pavilion Gardens Railway it used to be 10 and a quarter inch, and then they regaged it to 12 and a quarter inch. So here we are, railway open. So let's go and uh, let's go and ride the Vanstone Park or Vanstone Woodland Railway at uh, Vanstone Park. So here's the station. See, it says Vanstone Railway Hall. We've got three locos sitting here. There we go, so there's two of the locos. And then this loco here, this one is called Borough of Buxton because it also ran at the Miniature Railway at Buxton. It's now here at Vanstone, so um, let's go for a ride.
Well, I've had a great time here at Vanstone Park. I've had a ride behind these two locos, so um, it's been really, really exciting. Had a great afternoon. What I'm going to do now, though, there's somewhere else I want to go. Um, a few miles up the road. I'm going to get in the car. And I'm going to drive, and there's something I want to show you. Something I've been over many times, but never been under. So off I go. I said I've been over it many times, but I've never been under it. Just a few miles away from the Vanstone Woodland Railway, we have this. This is Digswell Viaduct, also known as Welling Viaduct. It was opened in 1850 by Queen Victoria, designed by Cubitt, who also designed King's Cross. And I just love how it just spans across the valley like this. It's just such an impressive structure. I, I've been over it all these times. Um, you know, on all the everyday trains. I've also been out on it behind Flying Scotsman, but I've just never ever walked underneath it. So that's why I thought, seeing as I'm in the area, I'd come down here today and we'll finish the video here at Wellin or Digswell Viaduct because it's just such an impressive structure. Its main job really is to carry the railway over the River Mimram, which runs, you can't actually see it, but behind those trees there is the River Mimram and it's the valley of the River Mimram that the railway has had to span. It is a bit of a nightmare the fact it's only two tracks because they've always wanted to double track it but also north of Welling North Station which is just over there there's tunnels as well so if they ever wanted to four track it it'd be um, well a nightmare so I don't think it'll ever happen it's a grade two star listed building so I um, hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching if you're ever in the area you know why not come and visit the Vanstone Park um, garden centre with the Vanstone Woodland Railway. One thing I will say is I wouldn't suggest going by train because it is a few miles away. I drove down from Vanstone Park down to here to see this but if you wanted to come and see this you could come by train but you know come come for a day out in Hertfordshire have a ride on the on the Vanstone Woodland Railway where we have a Thames Link train and um, you know come and watch trains over the viaduct and then go and ride the miniature railway so thanks very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe comment tell your friends thank you very much goodbye